I'm back. Um, thought I would talk a little bit about habits today. So I went through a book recently called The Power of Habits, which I highly recommend to anybody interested in learning uh, about how their brain works. Um, it was fantastic. So Power of Habits covers this idea that we... Um, we, at a very base level, uh, uh, learn things and develop habits um, that were kind of what we used uh, in uh, like like our lizard brain, right? Like when our brain is first developing, we would um, uh, rely on these habits. And so our higher level brain, you can almost Im imagine um, our brain is uh, two different uh, two different brains. You have your our prehistoric brain and then we have our new brain. Um, which is the the latest in evolution, um, and uh, that the new brain, you know, uh, basically is has to think about a lot of things. It can't do that because there's so many things to focus on, and so rather than doing that, it forms these basic habit patterns that allows us to function um, in an everyday manner, which is kind of cool. So uh, if you ever wonder why, man, I keep doing this one thing over and over again, it's well, you probably have a habit uh, around that. Uh, it's really cool because it addresses some neat things about how we function as humans. Um, and it also is really cool because it addresses the subtle things that you might not notice in products that you use every day. For instance, it covers toothpaste, right? Um, like the idea that toothpaste tastes good, it has a, like a foamy, um, minty freshness, right? That actually isn't necessary to clean teeth. Um, it's just something that they add uh, because that trigger to, triggers the habit pattern. And the habit, pa habit pattern is this pattern that gets uh, executed, which is, it, it, there's a trigger, right? So there's a, a trigger, there is a, uh, a path um, that, you know, you, you're, you do something and then there's a reward at the end. Um, and that's kind of the habit pattern um, that uh, most people follow, whether it's some type of addiction or it's something positive in their life. Well, we can use that actually to kind of put our success or our downfalls on autopilot. The thing also to realize about habits is they form in our brain um, based on uh, these triggers or, or, or basically things that we may or may not know that we're doing are is creating positive and negative habits. Um, and so it's it's good to recognize though that habits never actually fully go away. Um, it can be a kind of a scary thought, especially if you're struggling with something like drug addiction or uh, something that is va like very destructive, right? To know that, okay, um, that pattern has been formed. The pattern ne isn't necessarily ever gonna go away, but the cool thing is you can form new patterns um, beyond uh, those old patterns that kind of over overlay them and they are much stronger. So as you develop a much stronger pattern um, or habit over those old habits, you can really kick your, yourself into gear um, and, and be successful in your life. Um, so it's kind of cool that way. Um, so the book is uh, called The Power of Habits. Um, I guess I'll, I'll put it uh, in the show notes, but it's a fantastic book. It's really like something that uh, you hear in things like Anthony Robbins stuff or seven, even the seven habits. See, I'm actually, so after reading this book, I'm realizing, man, everything is habits. You know, they talk about how Starbucks uses, um, uh, you know, habits to uh, uh, train their employees and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, anyway, um, if you have any thoughts on habits and stuff like that, feel free to leave them. Um, but I uh, highly recommend this book. It's really cool. Um, as a, uh, a tester, I've been actually doing something interesting. I've been making my bed. Yeah, making my bed um, as um, a, a very, very simple habit to build other habits on and have been giving myself um, a goal of learning a new habit every 30 days. Um, and as many of you might know, usually habits take a little bit longer to form, but in my hope is um, every 30 days I form a new habit that um, will propel me in a good direction. Maybe it's spiritual, maybe it's financial, physical, you know, any of these things. Uh, and then I can, um, 
you know, continue my other habits, of course, um, which should just get more and more solidified. But um, as, and you might think, oh man, a new habit every month, like that's a lot. Well, the thing is, is after the cool thing about habits are after you fully develop one, and I think it really takes a good three months, not 30 days, but um, three months to six months to develop an actual real hard habit. Um, it's on autopilot. So that's the cool thing about habits is you can, after you form, a really spend and take the time to form a habit, it's on autopilot. So it's not a lot of willpower or stress to do. So, so as I do these things um, and develop these habits, right, eventually it gets so easy to do that um, I crave it, right? And, that, and that's the idea is that you crave uh, doing your habits and knowing this, you can define your own habits and that kind of thing. So I'm starting with one, making my bed, and I, uh, I which is a completely silly exercise, but there are a lot of good things about uh, that. It, it creates a very small, easy win for the day. So you you have you start every single day with a positive. Um, it creates a small amount of structure. Um, it's something that everyone can do and be successful at, right? Unless of course you don't have a bed, then sorry. <laughs> but you know, but you know, wherever you sleep, right? Make wherever you sleep. And uh, so I, I think that uh, it's actually a great place to start. And then beyond that, um, I am uh, gonna do, my next one is meditation. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. But uh, so far, it's been awesome. I've been using this uh, cool program called Habitica. I'll post that as well. But yeah, share your thoughts and uh, I, I'll wrap it up. It's getting a little long. Great. Oops.